friends. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we once again look back and we look on the Sunday's reflection. Aren't we all excited today? Aren't we all happy to know what God has in store for us? Do you have faith in your life? Do you have trust in your life? Or have you given up? Have you felt that, oh, I've been praying for so long and I'm trying my best, but yet I cannot do anything. God has a special message today for you and for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, the Spirit of God is moving in our place, is moving in our lives and in our hearts this evening. The passage today as we reflect has a very important message for all of us, but also for us in our own life. And I'd like to take you through this entire passage step by step. There's every verse that is connected to our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I'd like to share with you a small story. Once there was a parishioner who was very active in the parish and that poor parishioner died and was going back to heaven. And as he was going back to heaven, he had so many questions in his mind. He said, oh, hey, who will be in heaven? Who will I meet? Will I meet my uncle? Will I meet my parents? And the most importantly, he wanted to know, will he meet his parish priest? And as he was going towards heaven, the angel stopped him and said, Hey you, where are you going? And so uh, the, uh, the man said, I'm off to heaven. The angel said, no, you need to answer a few questions. So he said, tell me. So the angel asked, where is your mother? He said, in heaven. Where is your father? In heaven. Where is your friend? In heaven. Where is your parish priest? In hell, he said. So the angel was very upset and said, Why are you saying in hell? And then St. Peter comes running and says, Don't you have faith that you also will be with your parish priest? Yes, my dear friends. All of us want to be in heaven. All of us want to have a strong faith. And that is what the Canaanite woman in today's gospel passage reminds each and every one of us. We see Jesus is moving towards the cities of Tyre and Sidon. They were Gentile cities. And Jesus very often goes to cities that have never been visited. He goes to people who perhaps have never experienced God's love, who perhaps have never experienced the healing of God. And God is now going towards the city of Tyre and Sidon. And he is encountered by this Canaanite woman who comes to Jesus with a strong faith. And how do we know it, my dear friends? We see in the passage that a Canaanite woman is coming to Jesus with a particular intention. So many of us come to God and we say, Oh God, I wanted to answer this prayer. I wanted to pray for my son. I wanted to pray for my daughter. I wanted to pray for my family. And we just want to run towards God. This Canaanite woman also, my dear brothers and sisters, is also coming to Jesus. She does not really know what's going to happen, but she comes to Jesus with a strong faith. But she encounters two things. The first thing we see that the scripture tells us that she begs before the disciples and she tells the disciples, have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon, but he did not answer her a word and his disciples came and begged him saying send her away for she is crying after us he answered i was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel." how many of us also encounter two obstacles like this when we come to jesus have we experienced this in our lives Maybe sometimes we have come with our own prayers 
and we come to Jesus and sometimes we are questioned by our own faith do you love me do you love me do you love me peter also experienced this jesus asked him three times what about you and me my brothers and sisters this canaanite woman who does not know anything about jesus is coming to jesus now with a great intention and if you see the passage is so very interesting the lady who comes to jesus addresses jesus as sir jesus she says so can you please heal my daughter and then we see there's an obstruction between the disciples the disciples can't do anything and we see that this lady now moves further closer to jesus she kneels down she begs to jesus and says jesus please heal my daughter and jesus says that i'm come to save the people of the house of israel yes jesus is come for all he's come to save each and every person but he's also come to save the lost and the focus here my dear friends is on the lost on the Canaanite woman who is coming to Jesus with an answer today as we look back in our life all of us say that i have strong faith in the lord but god is asking us today how much is your personal faith where is your personal faith are you here are you here or are you here let's look at your own lives my dear friends this canaanite woman comes to jesus with a request to heal a daughter and jesus jesus holds on holds on to that great miracle that he is going to do but this lady doesn't give up she perseveres she continues in her life because she has a personal faith that yes jesus will do something and we see towards the end of the passage today she says yes lord yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table then jesus answered her o woman great is your faith let it be done for you as you desire jesus is referring to the dogs jesus is not putting her down but jesus is trying to say that even the lost will be found even the crumbs that fall from the master's table will be given to all that is faith my dear brothers and sisters like the canaanite woman jesus is calling you and me today to stand by our faith during these days of the pandemic some of us have lost our faith and we feel how much more should i pray but god right now is asking you he wants you like that Canaanite woman not to give up he said that this pandemic will come to an end your family problem will come to an end your financial problem will come to an end but have faith in me for i will never leave you as we look deep down into our life so many times that we have encountered troubles difficulties problems we've even come to something very different in our life my dear friends but jesus is asking us to have a personal faith can i spend time in prayer can i make a fixed time and say lord this time is for you can i open scripture every day and say jesus you speak through me through every day the moment i open the word of god jesus you speak to me when i sit down in my personal prayer time Lord you speak to me. God is calling us to have a personal prayer. When we have a personal prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, we will experience the fruits and gifts of the Holy Spirit. We will be joyful Christians. We will never be sad. We will never be disappointed. But we will beg before the Lord. We will persevere in our faith. And that is what the Canaanite woman is teaching us. Today we also celebrate Justice Sunday in our arts diocese, and all of us, my dear friends, will be looking and saying, "How can I show justice?" Yes, justice is seen in our own words, but more importantly, in our own lives. And we see Jesus also doing that. Jesus never only said, "I am going to reach out just to the Israelites." 
But Jesus even reached out to the non-Jews, to the Gentiles. Jesus showed justice through love and mercy. And today that is what he is asking you and me, my dear friends. When people come to us for help, when people come to us with prayers, how many of us try and say, Oh, where have you come from? Why have you come here? Where you stay? Do you pray? Do you go to church? But Jesus is asking you and me today to show love and mercy. That is justice. Justice should come from the heart. My dear friends, maybe today sitting back at home, you may wonder and say, how can I do? How can I show justice? The best way to do it is to look in your own families. The best example, am I, am I good to my husband? Am I good to my wife? Am I good to my children? Do I give equally to you all? Do I show love to my family? Do I show love to my spouse? Do I show mercy to those who are weak? To those who need my help? To those who call you up, maybe they make a phone call and talk to you. God is asking you and me to show justice to all. But he's giving us these two important gifts of love and mercy. Let's pray, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's pray in our life like this Canaanite woman who perhaps didn't know who Jesus is. She was wondering and maybe wondering and trying to look at who this Jesus is. But she does not give up. She continues to persevere. She comes closer to Jesus. That's the word scripture tells us. She comes near to Jesus. Jesus is waiting for you and me. He wants you and me to come closer to him. Are you ready, my dear brothers and sisters? Jesus is always waiting for us with open arms. He loves us, my dear brothers and sisters. He loves us just as we are. Right now, as you are listening to me, the Lord is talking to so many of you right now. He's telling you, believe in my love. Have strong faith in me. I love you. I want to give you that personal faith. Yes, if I know Jesus, I will grow in my personal faith. You know, my friends, as a young boy, I was always told by my parents, especially my mother kept telling me, pray, say your personal prayer, read the Bible, read the scripture. Today, when I look back as a priest, every word that was spoken is so important. So many people in our lives have told us, pray, spend time in the chapel, read the word of God. You know, when we have a personal faith, my dear friends, we can face every difficulty. We can face every obstacle. We can face every struggle that comes in our life. Every weakness that we encounter, God gives us a personal faith. And when we have this personal faith, we will overcome anything in the world. The Canaanite woman stood by her faith. She never gave up. She knew that Jesus can do a miracle. And Jesus rewards her in the end. He says, go woman, your faith has healed. Yes, God is calling us right now to have faith in him. Let's pray during this time, my dear brothers and sisters. Yes, O Lord, as we reflect on this gospel passage today, Lord, we know that you are calling us. Lord, I have to pray for all my brothers and sisters right now as they are watching this YouTube channel. Lord, I ask you to bless them right now, Lord. Lord, increase our faith like a Canaanite woman. Lord, so many of us are still in the middle phase of our faith. Lord, we want to rise up so that when we increase our faith in you, we will come more closer to you. And Lord, when we come more closer to you, we will love you more deeply. Lord, I ask you right now to bless all our brothers and sisters who are watching right now. Touch their lives. Bless them with this gift of personal faith. Lord, bless them today as we celebrate Justice Sunday that we will show love and mercy to every person we encounter. 
Lord, you show love and mercy to every single person. No one who came to you went empty handed, but were filled with love and mercy. Bless each and every one of us right now, Lord. May we receive your blessings. May we receive your healing. Lord, touch our lives, touch our families, that your faith will always be with us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in. God bless all of you. May your personal faith double in these days to come. Rejoice and be glad for Jesus loves you. Amen. Thank you and God bless.